Well, welcome back, I'm Mike Festiva. In this video, we got a super simple DIY project. It probably takes you two, two and a half hours to make. It's this little water table for handheld plasma cutting. It's just something simple to cut down on smoke and sparks spraying around your shop. Keeps your place more tidy. You can also remove it super easy to clean it out if you want. Whether you have a welding table like this or just a scrap of metal on top of a tabletop, you can fit something like this and fit it to your needs. Just want a simple little spot for freehand cutting on the side. But again, you can size this to anything you're looking for. And down below in the description, I'll have a link to this little catering tray, this little stainless steel one. But again, you can size this to whatever you need. So super simple DIY project, enjoy the video. So I think I'm gonna use some of this inch and a half angle iron off of this framework here. Need to cut it up anyway, so we're gonna cut these legs off, go in the shop, and go actually cut it a little more precisely with the metal cutting chop saw. Metal cutting chop saws like this make super clean, accurate, quick cuts, but if you don't have a saw like this, don't get discouraged. You can use an angle grinder to cut all this metal for this project, or better yet, use your plasma torch you're building it for anyways. So uh, the whole project's like this. The whole reason I've tried to do videos like this is uh, just share simple ideas and uh, just simple things to get you kind of out in the shop and start fabbing and make your shop a little bit better been really happy with this best arc plasma cutter for 220 bucks it's been a great little machine especially for making freehand cuts like this and if you haven't seen that review i'll put a link below to it so you can figure out more about this machine and just different features on most plasma cutters uh, if you're familiar with my channel you probably already know that i have a cnc plasma table with the water table on it and i knew that water table worked so well that's kind of what inspired me to do this freehand cut table on the side of my welding bench
some leveling points. I just tack welded on here and ground them until I was happy with this thing sitting level to the tabletop here. So at this point of the process, we could actually go two different directions here. Original idea, put it on the side of here, fill it with some water and use it as a freehand uh, plasma table, water table. Or with cutting a little vent hole here and maybe some legs, this could be a, probably a pretty good hot dog burger cooker, a little portable grill. I think we'll still go with the plasma cutting uh, table on the side, but you got options. So I'll show you a quick little simple guide setup I came across recently. I was digging around on Amazon trying to find a bunch of magnetic rulers. Couldn't quite find what I was looking for. So I found a four pack of these little stainless ones for super cheap. And I ordered some of this roll and stick uh, magnetic tape. Cut them and set them on the back here. You can set it down, figure out your offset from your torch to your guide and lay that out on your part. Then you can just run your torch right along and cut out your part. Super simple. Only drawback to it is you gotta be careful not to overheat your magnets or they'll lose magnetism. But usually the plasma doesn't put that much heat into the sheet metal. And when you're done, just pull off your magnet, you're good to go. This stuff's all affordable and it's all linked below to Amazon affiliate links. Ordering through that does help me out, so appreciate it. We'll get into how to make these real quick here. You can cut it a little bit long because you can trim this stuff. It trims very easy with a little set of snips here. Peel off this, uh, back in here. It's got adhesive on it.
Well, I'm really happy with this simple DIY project. Cool thing is when the water gets too grungy and nasty, you just slide out the tray on the side here and you can dump it out and get some fresh water. I put about a gallon in here and that seemed to work just fine for this table. I only cut about two feet of metal here and the water just looks disgusting. So it really cuts down on smoke, sparks, spray below your table so you're not getting a bunch of sparks down here or just slag. It really cuts down on the smoke in your shop too so it'll make your place a lot healthier to work around. Nasty looking water down there. Another cool thing is with the water being that low, it really didn't splash up much. Only got a few little droplets on the table here, so not a problem. And it comes off in three bolts, so if I want to remove it or put it on the front for a different project, and again, you could build one of these any size you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed that water table for a DIY plasma project here. Uh, it's super simple and uh, most of you can take it on with just scrap material, only a few things you need to purchase. Another thing I want to mention is this thing I want to do a little update, the Best Arc Plasma. I did a video on it a few months back. There will be a description below. It's been sold out for a while now and I think it's coming in the next month or two, but I found another equivalent plasma that I think is almost identical to this. It just has a slightly different regulator. So check out that video. Even if if you're not interested in buying this exact plasma but you're interested in buying a plasma that video kind of covers going over the features and everything you might find and need if you're looking to buy a plasma torch and it gives some tips on cutting with them as well uh, another thing i hope you enjoyed these little magnetic rulers because i was kind of stumped on what i really wanted a simple adjustable guide for doing different parts and pieces and cutting gussets really quickly and these with the magnet parts, I think could be made for around 20 bucks. So links to all that stuff down below. If you do order through that, it does help me out, make these little DIY projects a little easier to come down the shop and do. So I really appreciate that. Just trying to make this whole welding area just a little bit quicker to get down here for an hour or two to work on projects. Made this holster for my big gun a long time ago, worked good. I'm gonna make a little plasma holder right here. Uh, you probably saw the video, my DIY bandsaw table build over here. Just all these things are modular too, so if I want to change this and bring this over here, I just unbolt it. And final thing, people have asked if I've ever done a video on this Langmuir table. I think it's called Arc Flat. I have not done a video on it specifically, but it's been a great table. They definitely cost a bit of money, and I didn't buy them right off the bat. I think after I bought them probably about five years after doing this channel. So uh, they're really nice, convenient, but you can work with basically any type of bench with the metal on top or whatever you got. You don't have to have one of these to kind of build all these components on, just make do with what you got. But if you do have some extra cash kicking around down the road and you are interested in kind of fitment and jigs and things, these are all on a two inch square with a five eighths hole. So everything's like set up in a way where you can use it for jigging out parts and different things like that. I actually uh, am been really happy with this. So sorry, my uh, Langmuir Systems affiliate link does not save you any money on this, but I'll put a link below so you guys can click on that and go to the website and check them out. My affiliate link only saves you money on their CNC tables. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below that helps with the algorithm. And uh, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. All right, until next time, take care, bye.